is Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this quick dry shower poof, which you can see here as well as I have my completed one here for you. Uh, there are a number of crochet shower poofs out there on the internet. A lot of them are made with cotton yarn, which when they get wet makes them very heavy and very hard to dry afterward. So this one is made with the Red Heart Scrubby yarn. It's a very, it's an, uh, I marked it as an intermediate pattern, um, but it really only has one stitch or two stitches. But I marked it as an intermediate because of working with this yarn can be kind of tricky. So um, this one, it's about 12 inches in circumference. Because it's made with the Red Heart Scrubby, which is a 100% polyester, it uh, dries much quicker than the cotton ones. And I also like the feel of it. It kind of mimics the feel of those uh, other store-bought shower poofs that you can get. This pattern is a three round pattern and uh, don't be deceived though, it takes a little bit longer to work up um, than uh, just working a simple three rounds. For this, you're going to need one ball of the Red Heart Scrubby yarn, and uh, you're going to use pretty much all of that ball. It's about 92 yards. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook, and I'll have direct links for you in the description of this video for both of those items. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Again, the direct link is in the description. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and check out some of the other crochet patterns and tutorials here. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So I'm so glad you're here. Grab uh, your hook and some yarn and let's learn how to crochet our quick dry shower poof. So our pattern today is worked in rounds. There's a couple of ways that you can start. You can either start by making a magic ring and then working into that magic ring, or you can begin by chaining six and uh, working a slip stitch into that first stitch to join and make a ring. So it's really up to you. Uh, I'm going to start by making a magic ring here. And then what you're going to do after you have your ring made, you're going to start by making the hanger for your loofah uh, or for your poof. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain 25 stitches. So coming out from your ring, chain 25. and 25. You're then going to go back down and into the base of that chain 25. You're going to work a slip stitch. So back down into your base, either into your ring or into that first chain. Whatever you feel is more secure, just work a slip stitch. And that's your hanger made. You're then going to start by working the first round of the loofah. So once you've secured at the base, back down at your ring, you're going to chain one, and you're now going to work 25 single crochet stitches into that ring. So 25 single crochet stitches into your ring, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. So once you've worked 25, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're just going to push your hanger back out of the way. You can then tighten up your magic ring. And then um, be sure to 
go back and secure that end if you'd like at this time. For round two, you're then going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch. And into that same stitch that you joined in, you're going to work three more double crochets. So you'll have a total of four stitches in that first stitch. So three more double crochets. And you're then going to continue around your ring and you're going to work four double crochet stitches into each stitch. So all the way around work four double crochets and it's going to create this ruffly effect. Uh, as you keep going it might get a little bit harder but you're just going to push your stitches back and uh, keep working your four into each stitch. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 100 double crochet stitches. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three. just joined at the end and you're going to have something that looks like this nice kind of mini poof and you're ready to start round three you're not going to turn your work or anything at all in this pattern for round three you're going to chain three which counts as a stitch and then you're going to simply repeat round two so work three double crochet stitches into your first stitch and then work four double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, things are going to be quite ruffly. You're going to find your first stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 400 double crochet stitches. So at the end of your round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three. And at that point, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. And then with a little bit of shaping and one final search for your hanger there your quick dry bath poof is complete. So thank you so much for joining me for this crochet tutorial on how to make this quick dry shower poof and uh, thank you once again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time happy crocheting! Bye!